Asteroid Tracker latest news, seven space rocks are to pass our Earth this week. Now, in the past 10 days, we had 21 rocks passing us, celestial rocks, that is, asteroids, 21 passing us up to October 2nd, and now we have seven space rocks to pass this week. This seems to be an uptick in whatever is coming at us. Perhaps it's because uh, that is so, or perhaps it's because the astronomers and uh, those tracking near-Earth objects are better at it. Now, most of these coming at us this week have been discovered this year, in 2020. Asteroid trackers at NASA have revealed a surprising number of space rocks they will safely blast past our planet this week. Astronomy experts collected a wide range of all these asteroids about to make what are known as Earth close approaches. The data shows that this week a total of seven near-Earth objects, NEOs, will skim past our planet, the largest of which will be 88 meters in size, about 300 feet. And uh, this is what they are. 220 RV2, the first of seven asteroids to enter Earth's neighborhood this week, is named 220 RV2. NASA confirmed this space rock will be at its closest tonight at 6.56 a.m. October 6th. At this time, the asteroid will be about 3.5 million miles away from us. Astronomical units are the approximate distance from Earth to the Sun, and equal to roughly 93 million miles, or 8 light minutes. Many may think that this is far too great a distance to be considered a close approach, but this is a technically correct term, especially when considering the incomprehensible distance of infinite space and how fast these rocks move. The space rock, which could measure between 19 and 44 meters wide, is traveling at 9,305 miles an hour. The next rock is 220RR2. This space rock measures between 21 and 47 meters, that's about 150 feet. It's barreling through space at 4.08 kilometers per second. The asteroid will be, most, uh, will be closest to Earth at 2.55 p.m. October 6th. The next one is 220RK2. That will make a close approach at 1.15 p.m. October 7th tomorrow. It measures 83 meters, that's about, what, 240 feet. This base rock is one of the fastest ones to pass Earth this week. It goes at 6.68 kilometers per second. Then we have the 219 SB6. This asteroid will pass Earth at its closest point at 23.23 p.m. October 7, just seven hours after 220RK2. Then we have 220SR6 traveling at speeds of 5.26 kilometers per second. This measures between 20 and 44 meters. 44, 3 is 120 feet. The next one is 220SX3. This is the fastest of all the asteroids passing Earth this week. It's traveling more than twice as fast. It's dubbed 220SX3 by astronomers. This space rock is barreling through space at 10.22 kilometers per second, or 24,000 337 miles an hour. And coincidentally, the maximum diameter of 88 meters, about uh, 240 feet, is uh, this is now known to be the largest space rock to pass us in the next few days. And to put this into perspective, were this building-sized beast to collide with our planet, experts estimate it's potentially having an amount of energy equal to the largest nuclear bombs ever made, as much as 50 megatons. An asteroid on such a scale would flatten reinforced concrete buildings five miles from ground zero, and this would consequently total, totally annihilate every major city in the world. Fortunately, neither this one or any other asteroid is known to be on a collision course with our blue planet, our beautiful Earth. The closest of this week's near-Earth approaches is also being made by 220SX3. This rock has been confirmed to be coming within 1,055,000 miles of us. Now then we have 220R01. That's the final asteroid this week coming in. It's the slowest of the week encounters at 3.21 kilometers per second. It's 
a pretty decent size though. It's about 50 meters, 150 feet. The asteroid will make close approach 4.14 p.m. October 9. Now, all the information and data is publicly available on NASA's close approach data table. Some people may be surprised to learn Earth is actually bombarded by more than 100 tons of cosmic dust and sand-sized particles, space particles, every day. A car-sized asteroid can collide with Earth's atmosphere annually, creating an eye-catching fireball as it safely uh, incinerates before reaching our surface. And then approximately every 2,000 years, an asteroid the size of a football pitch hits the Earth, creating significant damage to a wide area. Then, roughly every few million years, an object large enough to threaten all life on Earth arrives. For example, what happened 66 million years ago with the dinosaur extinction with the asteroid strike at the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. So that's it, the seven space rocks to pass Earth this week. And this is by Tom Fish on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.